What's up guys? Welcome to sunny Italy and the morning of Cars and Coffee Brescia. We are now heading on a convoy full of fantastic supercars to our first meeting point. Let's check it out. Alright, we are on the road. We haven't even approached the event yet and there's already a Zonda behind me. <laughs> If there's ever a sign it's gonna be a good day, that is it. It's also really refreshing to be filming in sunshine. So we're on the road now for about 20 minutes to, to our first meeting point, uh, where I think everyone groups and then we have a, a convoy from there onto cars and coffee. See you tomorrow. All right, we have arrived at the first checkpoint at cars and coffee. Uh, we've just sort of signed on and now we're making our way through some weird undergrowth. <laughs> Looks a nice place though. The cars that have arrived so far, nothing short of them amazing. Although, as it happens, they're all behind me right now. But I've seen an MC12, Maserati MC12, two Zondas, Enzo, 288 GTO, AMG 6x6. It's looking good and that's just the convoy here. So we've just slowly inched our way through some woods and it's opened up into this fantastic garden party full of supercars. So no, no, benvenuto. Allora, imboccate la strada di ghiaia dove stanno andando anche le altre vetture, tutto sulla destra dove c'è il parcheggio dedicato al vostro marco. English. Sorry, English. <laughs> Sorry, you, have to, you have to take it, that stone street. All right, we have just arrived at Cars and Coffee. This is my first time here. I didn't know quite know what to expect, but the location is absolutely stunning. The cars are amazing. We've all been grouped into brands. So I'm in the Porsche paddock, there's loads of Ferraris over there. Group of Zondas over there. I can't wait to show you around this place. It's seriously, seriously special and incredibly beautiful. Let's check it out. cars here are heading to a different location but because myself Sam and Paul and Seb we have to go to Monaco tonight I don't think we're gonna be able to make it to the final stop which is such a shame because I want to be involved with all of these cars however we still have the rest of the week to look forward to that means top marks and even more supercars so for the time being let's watch these cars exit and hit the road see you in a minute supercar traffic jam Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
That is my kind of tailback. <laughs> see that convoy and all of those cars you should definitely go and check out his channel but myself Paul and Sam are all heading down now to Monte Carlo uh, because it's a bit of a drive and we want to get there in good time yeah I am super happy about it I love being on the, the road and the idea of arriving in Monaco in this weather turns me on I gotta tell you so let's do this approach this place everything just changes and obviously it becomes very, very hear that F type it becomes very Mediterranean just everything about it just oozes beauty you know it's such a nice environment to be in sorry I just had to dispatch a French car um, yeah I love the approach to it it's um, the closer you get, the more interesting it gets. The architecture gets beautiful. All of the vegetation changes to palm trees and the rock formations are stunning. And then of course the vista that is the Mediterranean Ocean opens up and Monte Carlo presents itself to you. And it's just beautiful. And you know that you're winding down into something really exciting, especially during top marks. It's just gonna be off the scale. Man. I can't wait to take you guys along for th th this ride. Top Marks is what I think people imagine Monte Carlo to be like all the time. Truth is, it isn't. Out of, of season, Monaco is actually a pretty sleepy village. Um, but during events like Top Marks, it is on steroids and the town is buzzing, the nightlife's amazing, and of course the cars are second to none. So, I'm gonna spend as much time as I can taking you guys along for this ride this week. I'm gonna be daily vlogging. It's the first time I've ever done this. So, uh, yeah, please, if you haven't already, it's worth subscribing because there's gonna be daily content and the awesomeness is gonna be turned up to 11. So, we're gonna drop down now and uh, yeah, it's just time to chill. Beer time again. I know uh, the people watching my last three video is going to think I'm an alcoholic uh, because every time I get to my final destination I'm like let's hit the bar um, but you know when you've driven several hundred miles and uh, something to celebrate and we're in Monte Carlo so let's swap that beer for a champagne darling <laughs> see you tomorrow all right guys and that is it we have arrived at Seb's house in the hills above Monaco it did end up being later than expected, but from up here, I know tomorrow's gonna be an incredible
incredible view and a beautiful start to a fantastic week. That's bye for now. Ciao. Recording. Ciao. Welcome to Cars and Coffee Italy. Today we are graced by the presence of the world's most fabulous supercars in a location unprecedented of all country estates and palaces around the world. Join me on an exotic adventure of supercars and luxury as we travel on down the Italian Riviera as we adorn the most fabulous supercars to have ever graced our presence. <laughs> <laughs>